Hey guys, index card today, day seven. I'm starting out on a gessoed index card with some fuchsia paint by Dina Wakely. And I have this stencil. I'm just gonna use a cheapy makeup sponge to do my stenciling. And my idea for this card was to, um, I love white space and it's a little hard sometimes to keep white space in such a small um, substrate. So I planned on concentrating the majority of my composition in the center of this card so I could kind of maintain some of that white space um, at the top and the bottom. And this stencil lends itself to that because um, it has like the largest swoops in the middle and then they kind of get smaller as they go up and down or, or out from the center, I should say. So um, that's why I picked that stencil. And then I'm gonna take some more of that fuchsia and a dry paintbrush and just concentrate that color across the center. And I wanna keep those like kind of like um, paint stroke marks going on that I got with the dry brush. And once that's dry, I'm gonna take some of my magenta, also by Dina Wakely, and I'm just gonna slap that all over the background. <laughs> and while it's still wet, I'm gonna take that same stencil I used in the background and a wet baby wipe and remove that paint. I like to um, use stencils over and over in this way. Um, by removing paint and adding paint and using modeling paste. For me, it's one of those tricks that I like to use to keep things from getting away from me, <laughs> which can happen when you start adding a lot of different kind of elements. Um, I added a little bit of splatters with that, uh, what was left of the fuchsia um, all over my card, just real light splatters. And then I'm gonna take the turquoise, also by Dina Wakely, and slap that down as well and take this Tim Holtz stencil and remove the paint with a baby wipe from uh, this this stencil. <laughs> um, so it was a little bit more all over <laughs> than I wanted. So I just removed uh, a little bit more of the stenciling um, with my baby wipe. I'm gonna frame that in with some um, a black ink pad, and then I'm gonna stamp out this chick. She's by uh, Viva Las Vegas Stamps. I think she might call, be called Vintage Lady. And I'm stamping her with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink on some 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock because I Copic colored her. And I added um, her headband, I made teal to match um, the background. And then I was gonna ground her um, with some washi tape, but then I thought it looked adorable like she was wearing a little polka dot dress. So um, I just cut it into a shape like like her shoulders were going down and it was like her little polka dot dress. So cute. So I'm gonna stick the rest of her down with some multimedia matte. And for a finishing touch, I'm gonna add some of these um, clippings, stickers by Tim Holtz. I, they're sticky, but I'm going to add them with multimedia matte just to make sure they stay put. And the vintage tones of the stickers um, were ordinarily, since like you could see the white of my card, ordinarily I would add like a white kind of sticker there. Um, I thought it matched her skin tone, so it didn't look like it was just like um, an element that was um, not, not blending with the rest of the card. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna add my favorite India ink uh, black splatters, and I should have covered up her face before I started, so she's got some black spots over her face. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for my card. Thank you so much for watching. She is for sale in my Etsy shop, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, I also added some um, yellow lemon by Dina Wakely um, splatters in the background as well. I don't know where that clip went, <laughs> but there they are. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye, guys.